Hi, I'm Lauren with WellElephant.com and I want to talk to you about how to go out to eat when you eat a whole food plant-based diet without oil. So if you're following um, prevent and reverse heart disease or forks over knives, you know that it can be a little bit tricky going out to eat. Um, I've made a comprehensive video about how to travel and go out to eat, so if you want all that information, it's about 16 minutes long, you can go and find that. But if you just want this snippet, this is for you. So, first thing, if you're eating just in your neighborhood, you're gonna start to develop some relationships with the restaurants. It's gonna be a little bit tough at first, but you basically want to find a restaurant that has something that you can eat. I always go on either happycow.net or opentable.com. Those are two uh, websites and apps where you can put in the city, you can look at the menus, you can make reservations, and you can filter everything. So you can either filter it um, by vegetarian or vegan. Sometimes you're going out with people who don't want to eat vegan or vegetarian. So, you know, there's usually something on the menu that's vegan or vegetarian, and you can amend it. So always have a suggestion. So what I always do is I actually um, look on the open table or happy cow, make a reservation, and then I actually call the restaurant to talk to somebody. So you wanna call when, there is, when they're not busy. So either between 10 and 11 a.m. or two to five p.m. So call up the restaurant and say, hi, this is so-and-so and I have a reservation for tomorrow night, but I have some dietary restrictions. I wanna make sure that I'll be able to eat there. So can I please talk to the manager or the chef? And they'll put the person on the phone and you'll say, hi, this is Lauren. I have a reservation for tomorrow night. I have two things going on. I'm vegan and I don't eat any oil. So uh, I'm vegan, no dairy, no uh, butter, no cheese, no eggs, um, and I don't eat any oil. I cannot have oil. And sometimes I lie and say I have an, an allergy, but most of the time I just say, you know, I, I don't eat that. I can't eat that. And I always have something to suggest to them. I'll say, I notice on your menu you have, let's say it's an Italian restaurant. I notice that you have pasta. Do you have a pasta that doesn't have any eggs in it? And a lot of times they'll say, yeah, we have gluten-free pasta. Well, gluten-free pasta generally has eggs in it. So you want to be sure, reiterate, I can't eat any eggs or uh, any oil. So can you be sure that that pasta doesn't have eggs in it? And a lot of times they'll come back and say, yeah, it has eggs, but I have a, a different pasta that doesn't have eggs. And I'll say, fantastic. Could you possibly just saute some vegetables in some white wine and some garlic and throw it over the pasta? And then, you know, you can have a green salad um, with some balsamic on it. They'll be happy to do that generally. Um, or if you're going to a Mexican restaurant, you can say, you know, I noticed you have vegetarian beans on your menu. I, um, could you, do they have oil in them? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It can be a little bit tricky, but you'll have to just go through the menu until you find something or call a different Mexican restaurant. Generally, you can find some, some vegetarian beans. Make sure that they are not cooked in lard, not cooked in chicken stock, um, that they are truly vegetarian, and then make sure they don't top it with any cheese or anything like that. And um, I, I talked about this in my other video, but I always have on hand, especially if I know I'm going to a Mexican restaurant, I make organic corn tortillas in the oven. I cook them at like 400 degrees for about 10 minutes, and then I transport them in a little bag and in my purse, and then when I get there, I can like break them up, and then I have tortilla chips. So I can dip that in the salsa, I can dip it in the beans, I can order some lettuce and make like a little um, taco salad. So you have to be creative and you have to have some suggestions, but honestly, I can't tell you the amount of times that I just call up the restaurant, I talk to the chef, and I say, I'm, I'm vegan, I can't eat any oil, I will eat anything that you make me that fits that bill. So if you make me anything that's vegan and it doesn't have oil, I will be so honored and I'll be so happy to eat it. And then when you get to the restaurant, be gracious and eat whatever they give you. 
Now, if you have some things ahead of time that you know, like you don't like spicy food or you don't like green peppers or something like that, just say, I'll be so happy to eat anything that you make me, except please don't make it spicy and please don't have green peppers in it. But you know, you want to, you want to set them up for success. They, they want you to be happy. Trust me. I can't tell you the amount of amazing meals I have had, just leaving it up to the chef. Now, if you're going into just, you know, I don't know, chilies or something like that, you're gonna end up eating a salad with some balsamic vinegar or some lemon or some lime on it. You know, you might not have a lot of choices in, in a place like that. If you're at home and you're eating local and you end up in a place like that, you could have a really good salad dressing in your purse to make it a lot nicer. Um, have a leak-proof container if you can, and that way it won't spill all over your purse. And you can have your good, whatever kind of engine two, forks over knives, uh, prevent and reverse heart disease, yummy salad dressing that you make in your, in your bag or just saunter in with it. Uh, and that way you can be, you know, participate that way. And you just don't want to feel left out. That's the main thing. So, you know, if you, it's so good, like easy to eat like Asian food, Indian food, at the very least, they can usually make you some kind of brown rice and steamed vegetables. You can ask for a little sriracha, a little tamari, doctor it up. Um, that way, at least you feel like you're eating something. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I sneak in like, uh, you know, something good that might go along with it. Like I make a really good coleslaw. That's kind of filling, like if I'm going to, let's say I'm going to like a barbecue place. I live in Texas, so that actually happens. Sometimes I'll make like a little vegan barbecue and I'll make like a little coleslaw I make with like a seed sauce and I put it in my purse or um, I actually have like an insulated bag. It's a little bit obvious when you're walking in with your own lunch bag, but you know what? Nobody really says anything. You'd walk in with your little insulated bag with your food. Now, hear me out, because I waited tables for many years, and I'm not the kind of person who would just sneak in my food and then not eat their food. So if you are gonna sneak something in, I always order a salad or something else, um, sneak my food on the plate when nobody's looking, and then I tip like I ate a major meal. Don't, don't be that person. But anyway, that's really how you uh, go out to eat. And if you have any questions, you can email me at lauren at wellelephant.com, L-A-U-R-E-N at wellelephant.com. I promise I will email you back. And you can go to my website at wellelephant.com and download my free three-day meal plan and grocery list. And then I'll add you to my email list and I'll every couple of weeks just send you some uh, recipes or information about eating out, eating this way, going to a friend's house, just tips about eating plant-based and oil-free. And if you would do me a favor and like this video and share it with your friends who eat the way we eat so that this information can get out to the people who need it, I really appreciate it. This is important work to me and, and I treasure all of you and I thank you for watching the video.